As virtual reality systems become available, capturing the real world in VR has emerged as an important research problem. We present a practical system for VR video capture that consists of a camera array designed for capturing panoramic and stereoscopic video, an efficient distributed stitching pipeline capable of processing hours of video per day, which has been used to process millions of frames of footage, and a format that is compatible with today's video streaming platforms and can be viewed on any VR headset. In order to capture video which is both panoramic and stereoscopic, we use the Omnidirectional Stereo Projection, or ODS. The ODS projection can be thought of as a mosaic of a pair of eyes looking in each direction at the horizon. Previous work has captured ODS still images by stitching images from a rotating camera, but for VR we need ODS video. To capture video using this projection, we use 16 GoPro cameras configured in a ring. Some of the ODS rays are captured exactly by these cameras, but the rest need to be synthesized using view interpolation. We therefore propose a novel optical flow-based view interpolation algorithm which is accurate, temporally consistent, and fast enough to process video. We compute optical flow on each pair of cameras independently. First we perform tile matching to recover coarse forward and backward flow fields. This is then upsampled into a noisy and incomplete per pixel flow field. Individually smoothing each frame's flow field produces reasonable results for any given frame, but results in a temporally inconsistent flow field. We therefore use a temporally consistent bilateral solver to jointly optimize over the entire video sequence, producing temporally consistent flow fields between the two cameras. Please see the paper for details. Ignoring temporal consistency during optical flow results in visually distracting renderings, where objects abruptly change depth and appearance over time. Our temporally consistent flow technique ameliorates this issue. With these flow videos, we can composite our 16 video sequences into one omnidirectional stereo video. Splatting input pixels according to our optical flow results in multiple splatted fragments for most output pixels, which must be composited into a single output color. This compositing must account for anti-aliasing and occlusion and must blend smoothly across cameras and across time. Simply summing all the fragments that land into each pixel ignores occlusion, resulting in ghosting artifacts around the boundaries of foreground objects. Using Z-buffering addresses occlusion, but it also produces aliased and temporally incoherent results and does not blend smoothly between input cameras. Zwicker et al. clusters fragments into surfaces, which works well for CG models or laser scans, but produces artifacts for our use case when flow estimates are noisy. This animation demonstrates the problem with non-continuous compositing methods. The blue fragment smoothly changes disparity, affecting the ordering of fragments. This causes a discontinuous change in the composited color. With our continuous compositing, we see that the composited color changes smoothly as the disparity of the blue fragment changes. Our method addresses occlusion and anti-aliasing while being C0 continuous with respect to fragment disparities. Please see the paper for details. Our results are best viewed in VR, which you can do on YouTube with Google Cardboard by following this link. To allow a closer analysis of our results, here we present a short output sequence where the videos for the left and right eyes are interleaved. You can see that our system handles significant disparities while producing few artifacts. Please follow this link to see our results in VR. Thank you for your attention.